now we are going to discuss about neutralization reaction neutralization reaction is the reaction between an acid with a base that leads to the formation of salt and water the reaction between acids when an acid reacts with a base gives a salt and water so this is the general equation the reaction between an acid and a base that leads to the formation of salt and water is known as neutralization reaction why it is called neutralization reaction see here when an acid reacts with a base the acid loses its acidic property and base loses its basic property and which leads to the formation of a neutral substance or we can say that when an acid and base reacts together the acid cancels the property of base or the base cancel the property of acid and they show the tendency of the formation of a neutral substance that's why it is called neutralization reaction see in order to explain this neutralization reaction by using an indicator i have taken here see this is hydrochloric acid and i have taken a base sodium hydroxide and i am also going to use the phenolphthalein indicator now i am going to demonstrate how the base cancels the property of acid or the acid cancels the property of base to form a neutral substance that is neutralization reaction that leads to the formation of salt and water let us see see i am going to take dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube see i am pouring a few ml of dilute hydrochloric acid i am taking in a test tube okay dilute hydrochloric acid is colorless see now i am going to add phenolphthalein indicate two to three drops see just two or three drops one two three three drops of phenolphthalein i added see still it is colorless now i am going to add the base sodium hydroxide drop by drop see i have taken sodium hydroxide in a dropper see i am slowly adding adding see and i am mixing it well okay first a pink color formed now see that color changed see again i am putting few more drops see the color has gone the base is reacting with the acid the acid base reaction started and bo both of them are trying to cancels the properties of the other see a slight pink color came but see it is cancelled by the acid the basic property is cancelled by the hydrochloric acid taken in the test tube now i am again adding sodium hydroxide very slowly drop by drop i am adding see now it is completely changed into pink now it is completely changed into pink why because the earlier it was acidic that time the phenolphthalein indicator did not indicate because it's a basic indicator but once now i added more base now the solution become basic okay the base cancel the effect of acid and now it become basic since it is basic it is showing pink color 
Now let us see again. I am going to add acid. Let us see what happens. Now it is basic. That's why it is pink in color. Now I am adding acid. Slowly I am adding. Drop by drop. See. When I add one drop, two drop, again it became colorless. That means the acid cancels the basic property. So this phenomenon, this chemical reaction by which the acid cancels the property of base or base cancels the properties of acid is known as neutralization. Okay. If I add few more drops, again I am taking base. See, now it is, when I add one drop, it become basic again. Okay, it become basic. Again, it changed into basic. Now I am adding one drop of acid. One drop. That one drop is the difference between cancelling the effect. See? Again, it become colorless. It become neutral. So, acid reacts with base to form a neutral salt and water. Or we can say that a reaction in which the acid cancels the property of base and vice versa is known as neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction in which now here when I added sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid a salt is formed that is sodium chloride. I will show you. See we have taken which acid? Hydrochloric acid. The formula of hydrochloric acid is HCl. Hydrochloric acid. And which base we added? Sodium hydroxide. So I added sodium hydroxide NaOH. I added the base sodium hydroxide. This both react together and each cancel the properties of one another and that leads to the formation of a salt. You see, NaCl is a salt, sodium chloride. Salt is sodium chloride. Okay, sodium chloride, NaCl, and see here OH and this H gives H2O, water. Salt is sodium chloride. Okay, sodium chloride, and you got water. So, this is called neutralization reaction. The reaction between an acid and a base in which one cancels the property of the other and vice versa and that leads to the formation of a salt and water is known as neutralization reaction. It is very interesting, you see, within a one point difference, see, when I added a one drop, that point is called the neutralization point. Now it is neutral, a salt is neutral because the concentration is concentration of uh, base and the acid is almost same. So we got a neutral salt, sodium chloride and water. Okay. So this is neutralization reaction. What is neutralization reaction? Yes. Very good. A reaction in which an acid and bases react together. And in that reaction, both cancel the properties of each other and leads to the formation of salt and water is known as neutralization reaction. See, when I am touching, it is slightly hot. Why you know? Because during this reaction, heat energy is coming out. When an acid reacts with a base, heat energy is coming out. Therefore, it is an exothermic reaction. Neutralization reaction is an example for exothermic reaction. Exo means outside. Thermic means heat. So a reaction in which heat energy is evolved out is known as exothermic reaction. Therefore, neutralization reaction is an example for exothermic reaction. Hope you understood this.